Iconoclast Speaks. Welcome back to the Iconoclast Speaks. I am the Iconoclast and that's Seth Boy. Seth Boy. Yeah. It's a bottle, so. Yeah, you can't really do the can't do noise. So, so we're, we're going to talk about being offended. Yeah. And more about what offends us as opposed to mm-hmm. what it means to be offended. Because everyone's offended about everything yeah. nowadays. Well, I think that's offensive to say that everyone's offended by everything. Really? Because that's just like, I don't know, I think that kind of makes you look like a baby. You know what I mean? Wow. Wow. Well, well like, what, what offends you? What, what, what is something that if somebody does? Um, it, I don't, honestly, I don't really get offended by things, but I'll notice, like, I can, I could easily, I can easily get annoyed, and this is, I hope that people don't start doing these things on purpose to piss me off, but, um, I would say, like, like, you just smacking your lips like that, like, oh, that's really That annoying. bothers you? Because it's like... I didn't, I didn't know that. I don't know. To me, I just feel like you can, like, watch this. I got a piece of broccoli, yeah. and... Mm-hmm. For some reason... No, don't. Don't. For some reason... Because that will really ruin... Yeah, that's going to ruin this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I won't do don't it. ever do that again. Um, but it's like ve- it's like a very easy skill to obtain to like close your mouth, eat the food. Um, but a lot of people <clears throat> don't know how to do it, and the and it's a lot of people no. that are like super smart, like they have like engineering degrees, they like are but, lawyers or doctors. And I'm like, but they could never grasp, they could never grasp uh, the whole idea of just like closing your mouth when you eat. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the first one. Uh, what about you? Well, like, I chewing with your mouth open. That's that's just nasty to me. Like if I'm sitting across from you, and I get like little kids, it, but that little kids don't bother me as much as when I'm at a restaurant and I look over and there's like a guy in his 30s or 40s and he's like, I'm running, and he's not. It's like what the heck, dude? Yeah. I don't need to see the process. Just swallow it. Yeah. Or um. Like Smacking a, lips doesn't bother me as much, but like right now I'm sick, so mm-hmm. I'm doing that. But if I'm not sick and I hear someone else doing that, that pisses me off oh, yeah. because like I'm I'm just like go home, like be it, like yeah, stop, yeah. come on, like yeah. I don't care if you have like some things to do with your life, yeah, like don't yeah. do that next to me, yeah, blow, blow your nose or something. I I hate body odor. Okay. That that, like why? What's wrong? Well, with it's it? so nasty. Like like well like, it, it especially if, I mean I know you can't help it all the time. Like if you're at a gym, it doesn't bother me. Like I understand people. Someone works out and then they walk up to you, or by you and they stink. It's not, I'm not like oh my gosh idiot, but like, when I'm at work, I, I work in a, a little small, cubicle mm-hmm. thing. It's not really cute. It's like a a closet because I do editing and the producers come in the record stuff but like sometimes a producer will come in and it's like they've never met a shower yeah in their life and it, they'll come in like, they'll shut the door that, and it's just like what do you think the advice would be like I, what, I don't know see you? I don't know how to say something because I, I I don't want to be mean to them yeah at I, the same time though it's like it doesn't leave for hours it's stuck in the room and you just yeah no, but th- that's funny that you mentioned that because I, I had worked a job at one point where um, my manager came up to me and gave me like was asking for advice like hey so and so smells like bo, um, what should we do like we've already told this person like don't smell like bo but I feel like it's, like it's not getting through to them yeah so I, and like she was she uh, she just didn't want to like Her off- she didn't want to offend offend yeah. the person um, and I was like. I was like, "Ooh, you could go to um, you should go. You could go to like some cool like hipster place to to get some uh, deodorant and get all of us deodorant. I just wanted to get some deodorant out of this. Yeah. So I was like, get all of us some deodorant. Everyone that works in this office, mm-hmm. and um, and that way it's kind of like, oh, we're all getting deodorant. Like it's a yeah, cool, like it's cool. some yeah. cool like 
cool deodorant. So maybe you just organic get everyone deodorant. everyone that you work with just be like, hey guys, hey, I just found deodorant. this new shop. Yeah. Uh, and it's like these cool these cool yeah. deodorants. I like I check it out. And right. Like, yeah. Just give it to John. Is it John that you said was the? I, I didn't say the okay. name. But well. That, wow. You're good at this. Yeah. And just do that. Now on, a, on <laughs> another note, which is kind of funny, similar situation is I one morning I was in in work by myself, and like. I just ripped one in the room, just, you know. Was there anyone else? No in one the room? was in the room okay. with me. And literally, as soon as I had finished, <laughs> someone, some, comes in. someone walked in the room. It smelled so bad. And then, <laughs> I was like, I was like, oh crap. And literally, because it smelled like crap. Yeah. But they walked in, and he shut the door, and he's like, Someone's cooking breakfast. <laughs> Someone's it, cooking breakfast. Yeah, and it, it, Did it smell like curry or something? I don't know what it. No, it didn't. It smelled like it smelled like sewage. <laughs> it was hor- It was really bad. And I was like, in my head, I'm thinking, oh man, what do you eat for breakfast? Because <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. That's funny. But but another thing, I think we kind of talked about this before the show, was close talkers. Yeah. Like when somebody's like comes up. Yeah, that's and it. it. And, it, and they may not have, you know, bad breath or anything, but it's just they invade your space. I it's mean. weird. I, I've met some people that have done that before. Um, and, like, I've even given cues, but, like, I'm, like, I don't, like, even when someone's, like, making me mad, I don't like to let people know because I feel bad if, like, I don't, like, want to hurt someone's feelings. But I've had, like, an instance where, like, someone's been, like, talking close, mm-hmm. and I'll, like, move back, but then they keep you, getting you closer. closer. And this same person even smacks his lips uh, when he eats. And I, for the longest time, I thought he was messing with me. I thought he was just like, but he's like also like, I knew he didn't have like a lot of friends. So I was like, that's probably why. I, well, maybe, but I was, I was just caught off guard. So I, I couldn't, I didn't know, I didn't know what to do. I just kept on like trying to, like I'd create barriers. Like I'd put mm-hmm. something in between us just to see if that would stop him. It didn't. Uh-huh. Um, he he would like move the barrier and like get closer, and I was like, hmm. Yeah, I didn't know what to do. Well, it's good in saying that I I don't like touchy people, people who are like yeah, like yeah that that is yeah I, I, uh, I even this when even on. when my kids do it like <laughs> and they like I try and explain you know, I I don't mind if they come give me a hug, but then when they just lay on me yeah and I'm trying to watch a movie and then it's like. If one's it's anxiety. Like, if, if yeah, if one's on me, it's okay, but the, it's never just one. And I have five kids, so like one will lay on me, then the other one, and then I get a third one on, laying on, and then, I, then I'm just like, I'm like okay, I, I can't even want. I'm, it, I'm just like, you think you're just claustrophobic? It may be. I just I'm just like okay, you're just there's too much touching, and you're on yeah. me, and you gotta. Do you think that's a, go a problem away. that you gotta like work out within yourself? Like, do you think it's not them, but it's something that you have to deal with? Well, I wonder if they do it on purpose because they know it f- flips me out. <laughs> so, like, I, I think the first time it may have happened, it was just they didn't know. But now I, they know this because yeah. I always say, you guys know this. I told you. Yeah. Stop. But but it, it, I know it's me that it's just I'm not a that, – that kind of stuff kind of like – Ooh, I know one that um, – I don't want to talk about that anymore. Okay, go ahead. Um, but I know another one is uh, – just someone who's like super negative like it doesn't like like yeah, they play the victim card yeah um, oh, like yeah. everything that they do like it's like my life sucks um no matter what like it's these people's it's this group's fault or this person's fault and it's like no one like when people don't take ownership for their own problems like yeah or at least like try like hey yeah maybe someone is being an asshole to you but like it's like come on like don't let that destroy you. Like, yeah. find a way to um, be Step productive. Up. You know, like, if you let someone, like, make you not productive in society, like, sure that's are. that's that's on you. So I feel yeah. like that one's, that one drives me nuts. Not so much, like, all, like, it, it doesn't, like, offend me, but, like, when someone's, like, I don't know, when I hear someone bitch about anything... It just, it drives me nuts because it's like, you're watching this right now on a computer. Yeah. Computers at one point weren't invented. Um, video wasn't invented at one point. Mm-hmm. 
it's like all this technology that we have and it's like no matter how good things could potentially get you're going to still find some reason for it to not be considered awesome like yeah. you're going to be like like cuz there's like even like kids that are like super rich and so so we know that money isn't going to make people happy and right. except because there's like so many depressed like rich people. people rich people and then there's like people that are poor that are are Super depressed and then they think like maybe money might be the would fix it but it really it's like just find some kind of like purpose in life and yeah. like be passionate about it so would you say that these things that bother you again is it something you need to work through or is it something other people need to just stop no i think well i think it's definitely Both. for me as well because anytime i haven't paid attention to it as much anymore because i found i found a purpose again but what whenever there's a moment in my life when i don't have any driving force nothing uh making me feel like i'm crushing life mm -hmm. um that's when i take the time to judge people uh so whenever i'm judging people that means you're not I'm, I'm sucking at life yeah and that means i gotta do something better well i think it's too oftentimes the things that drive me nuts the most about somebody are the things that i do yeah same and, and, and it's like and, and and carly my wife has pointed that out oftentimes like when i get when there's a person in my life that i'm like man he or she i oh i they're just jerk and that's and and she's like, well, it's because they're, they're the same so, person. It's like they're so much like you. <laughs> yeah. And you, she's like, you're so sarcastic. You're so like, uh -huh. you, know, you say these things, you do these things, and then when someone does it to you, you're just like, what a sarcastic. I know. Like when I first like met you, I was like, good God, please help me. Like I prayed. I was like, uh, Mom, Dad, God, the world, <laughs> please get this guy out of my life. You know? Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually. <laughs> That's her. When I met you, I was like, oh, this guy's pretty cool. He likes games. I like games. So, yeah. like, we play video games. Halo. Yeah. Halo was cool. Yeah, Halo and, uh, and Madden. Yeah. Ma oh, yeah, we would create Madden, Madden teams. Uh, teams together. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. We, we should do that sometime. Yeah. Um, but where were we going with Like, that? about how things bother us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I think for me, it's... Uh, Whenever something does actually bother me, it's because I'm not on my purpose. I'm not doing something productive in society. I'm not helping people. I'm not bettering myself or bettering other people. So then I take that time to uh, just be a, a jerk with my thoughts. Or mm -hmm. I'm there's every now I'm passive aggressive. I think that's what it is. Yeah. Is where I won't be a dick to people until it's like you've done like about seventy things. And then I let you know all those seventy things like eight months later. Yeah, and then people and, are like, what? and and then people are like, "Wow, Pat is a jerk. He's a he's been keeping lists. He's he's like <laughs> psycho." <laughs> but like, <laughs> and that's something that I I need to work on. And I I'm, I think I'm more conscious about it now. Where I'm like, hold on, like, should like okay if if you're gonna be mad about this, like, how did this happen? Like, there's probably something that you did because I like I think relationships are 50-50 like if someone's like eating close and like mm -hmm. talking close you have the opportunity to be like hey man I need you to step back and like and yeah that person might be offended but it might make your day so much better if yeah. you're just like yo listen you gotta yeah, move out. you're way, way you're too way close, close you're yeah. like in my like and that could fix the whole situation and so that's something that I need to work on is not being scared to offend people. Like, definitely be conscious of people's feelings. Like, if it's something like, like, ever, there's so many people that smack their lips. If they're smacking their lips, like, really far, I, if it really bothers me, I need to just walk out and yeah. just not, like, deal with it. But if it's, like... Right in your face. Right in my face, then maybe I could be like, hey, hey try let's, let's close in your mouth. Close your mouth. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and it's rude, but it's like... Maybe no one's told them. Yeah, maybe they don't even don't realize know. it. Yeah. So I think I think we've like really just beat this to down. Yeah, we could probably come back to this some other future episode. Yeah, because yeah. there's there's a lot more. There's so much stuff yeah, that yeah. pisses us so, off, you know. But I think that's good. I mean, 
Let us know in the comments below or whatever. Or send us a message. And as I said, if you're listening to us on iTunes or Google Play, um, check us out on Facebook. It's the Iconic Class Speaks on Facebook, and you can actually watch us do the podcast as as F Boy poses in the background. So uh, for you ladies, you'll probably want to watch the video because you know he's doing this for you. No, doing it for the guys. I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm not gay, but I like gay guys, you know what I mean? See you next time.